Hi, this is Miss Danielle. Hi, this is Miss Katie, and today we are making haroset. Haroset is one of the foods eaten at Passover or Seder. Um, haroset symbolizes the mortar that the Jews used as slaves in constructing bricked buildings for the Egyptians. There is no uniformed uh, recipe for haroset because the ingredients are not specific in the Torah. However, some of the ingredients are mentioned in the Song of Songs as bringing to light the attributes of the Jewish people themselves. There are many variations of haroset. Today, we found a recipe online that was a nut-free haroset, because if we were at school, we would be making a nut-free, alcohol-free haroset. So today's ingredients are? We have two apples and two pears, finely diced. We have a cup of shredded coconut. We have a half a cup of raisins and a half a cup of sparkling grape juice. Now this is a very easy thing to do. First, we're gonna add our apples and our pears to the bowl. Next, Katie's gonna add the coconut. Then I will add the raisins. And last but not least, we will add our sparkling grape juice. And then Katie will stir it all together. Uh, this mixture is not cooked. You can serve it at room temperature or you can serve it cold. But it goes on your, like as we said before, it does go on the Seder plate and is served at Passover. Um, I also saw that some people use this after Passover. They will make this and they will serve it on their ice cream or even during Passover, you can have it with your matzah. Okay, Katie's got it mixed up and she's gonna put some in a little bowl so she can taste it. So make your haroset with your family. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.